Hey guys, um, I just want to share my rapture dream. I have actually been trying to record this for quite some time now. This is like attempt 20 or something. Something is preventing me <laughs> from trying to get this out. So, without delay, I had this dream, I want to say probably around 2021. Probably in the summertime, I would say. Cause it, it was around this time. And I had a dream. Um, so, when this dream began, I was in a room that was, like, inside of a convention center. And I was, like, standing up on a ramp, right? And so, in this room, the walls were pitch black. You couldn't see them at all. It was, like, being outside at night. It was pitch black. To my left, I saw a, a flat screen TV. And there was nothing on it. There was no power to it at all. So I went to explore a little bit. I walked forward up into another ramp. And this ramp led to another room to the right. And the entrance to this room was pitch black. Just as black as the walls. It was scary and ominous. Like I was creeped out in the dream. Like I felt it. It was weird. So... When I turned, I saw this man in a suit. Like, I want to say, like, it was kind of like a business suit, I would say. Just a tie, a white shirt, collar shirt, black suit. Just saw that. Um, and so when I saw the man's face, um, when I woke up, after waking up, thinking about it, I was shocked. So just for some context before I explain the rest of my dream. Um, so the man's face was William Defoe, and if you've ever seen him before, he plays in like the best example I can think of because I don't I haven't seen all his movies. I've seen you know the, the original like the Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. He plays as the Green Goblin villain. So I thought, well, why am I seeing him in a dream? Because when I saw him in the dream, my mind thought this is the Antichrist, which. I don't claim to, to think that he is. I don't know who the Antichrist is. I don't know if we're ever really going to know until he actually gets here. So I'm not going to worry about pointing out who is and who isn't. It's just This is just my dream. So when I looked up William Defoe, I thought, well, when I go to search him, let me put Antichrist just to see what comes up. you know. And as soon as I look it up, he came up. He was the main one of the main characters in a movie called Antichrist. Now that I think back to it, I'd have to look after I'm done making this video, but I don't because I don't remember the year. But it came out. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it was like in the 2010s. Um, and I did watch a little bit of the trailer. But it was really confusing and it was weird and I don't recommend to watch it. It was just <clears throat> it was really strange and weird and demonic. So back to the dream now. So when I saw him <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> sorry. So when I saw him, he was smiling at me really like like I just I guess I'll just say he was he had like an evil smile on his face like he was just horrifying to look at like he if looks could kill basically if I could explain it that way he had m murderous thoughts like I could feel I could feel that he had murderous thoughts and like I'm trying to explain this so it's like he wanted to grab me and hurt me kind of feeling, but he couldn't. Like, all he could do was stare me down and make me feel uncomfortable, but he couldn't touch me. So he stared at me the entire time that we crossed paths. And so I could feel him looking at me, like, like as I'm walking, and he's walking, like, he stared at me until we could not see each other anymore. Um, and so after I walked... Forward through the doorway. 
I was transported to like a beach area and I was looking straight forward. All I could see was the sand and then the rocks, you know, formation of rocks. I, I don't know where I am. Um, I look to my, I can't look to my left. I can't look to my right. And I think in my head, like I could hear my own voice say twice, it's a trap. It's a trap. Like with urgency. And I could feel after that, my attention, like, like I wasn't doing it. Like I could feel something forcing my attention to look to my right. And as soon as I look, Without warning, it was this tsunami wave. It was huge. I didn't have time to react because it was already upon me like that. Like it was that close. It swallowed me up and I just tossed in a circle. I like, how do I explain this? Like I couldn't do anything. I was helpless. And I slowed down at some point and I was looking up. When I looked up, I could see. You know when you get close to the surface of the water, but you don't quite push, like you don't, you're not above the water, you're still below it. In just like a small circle, I could see the light, I could see the sky, the clouds. I don't, well, I don't know if I could see the clouds, but I knew I could see a blue sky. And so after I saw that, I could see a man peek his head up, and he was looking down at me. I couldn't see the details of his face, but when I saw his face, when I saw the man peering down at me, he like his feet wasn't it was not in the water. It was like he was standing on the water on the other side. And my mind, I thought, this is Jesus, this is Jesus Christ. And he went to reach down. His hand never went through the water, and I never had even a chance to grab his hand. Within. Under, just under, it wasn't even a second, it was that fast. I was sent up through the water, all the way above the clouds, and I stopped. Uh, I was hovering above the clouds, and I saw just outward, just all around me, other be believers below me, and some, you know, around me. I couldn't see them at the time, but there was just endless amounts of other people also with me. And then in front of me were three people. I still don't know the significance of this, so if anybody wants to kind of help me out and figure out maybe what it could mean, you know, I'd be appreciative of that. So I saw three people with red uniforms, like marching band uniforms. And I couldn't really see their faces or who they were or anything. I just, I could see their uniforms. And after that, I looked up and I saw the space. Like, it was like you could see the galaxy. Galaxies up there. It was just so many stars. And then I felt like I was about to go be pushed back, pushed up one more time. Like I was about to get pushed up. Uh, the dream ended. So, with the marching band people, I don't know exactly when marching band starts. Um... I did look up a little bit about it. I guess it's different for every state. I don't know. But I do know from what I have seen. Um, I, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But like, I think it starts in the summertime. Maybe before that. I'm not sure. Um, so I really thought that was an interesting thing. So that being said. What I want to say after all of that is do not wait, do not hesitate, get saved. Look, we all fall short of the grace of God. No one is perfect. We've all sinned. And it, it is so important of all times right now. It is important to believe in Jesus it, I have family that aren't saved, and I, and I really pray, I really pray that they come to Christ. I've tried, I've tried to talk to my brother. Between him and my dad, though, they're just 
You're just not the type to believe. I, I've been praying for them, and I'm going to keep praying, praying, praying for them until things happen, until Christ comes back for us. That's all I can say. And it's just, it's, it's troubling, but I know I have to stay focused on Christ because right now what's important is getting this video out. Like many other people who are sharing their rapture dreams and after seeing so many now, I really feel, I felt led that I really need to share mine because if there's anybody out there who needs encouragement or anything at all, just if you were waiting and you're on that line and you need, you needed this, you that this is that here's your sign video and you were having any doubts just don't delay get right with god believe in jesus and just just get right with him you know it's just Forgive me for my silence, but I just am troubled by how many people who just are so busy fighting other Christians that they've lost sight of what's really important. Because regardless of what you believe pre-trib or mid-trib, it doesn't matter. Those things do not matter right now. What matters is where what you believe are you right with Christ? That's what matters. Do you have Christ in your life? Have him be your foundation. Have him come into your life and save you from the fires of hell. Because hell is real. Heaven's real. God is real. Demons are real. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but I'll explain this right now. I've had a real encounter with a demon and other demons. And it was something I should not have done years ago. But I'll tell you this. It was that many years ago. But I made that mistake. I got right with God. And I did things I shouldn't have. But I'm right with him now. And after that encounter, there's just no way I could ever go back to not believing. And not just that encounter, but just encountering God in general he has saved me from so many things and saved me from myself i could say that i just i've been through so many things in my life so many difficult things and compared to others and i i know we shouldn't really compare ourselves to anybody but there's so many people who've been through worse things than me, I know, but listen, whatever you've done, no matter how bad a sin that you committed, you can turn around. And even if you are a Christian struggling with anything at all and you're backsliding, it don't matter. Just ask Christ. Just talk to him. Just talk to him. Have a relationship. Get back to the word. Read. God's there waiting. And there's been too many times that I've backslid. And it's a daily battle. It is. It's really hard. But for me, I'm taking care of my family, taking care of my relationship with God, because He could be here any day now. So. Love you guys. I hope to see you guys in the sky. Just remember, put your put your trust in God. Get right. Bye, guys.